Hey everyone, Kevin Muldoon here. What I'd like to do for you all is review a cool little mini tripod that I picked up. This is from a company called Kilman. It's the Magnus Copter Mobile. And it comes with two little additional pieces here. This is the, the, the ball head, which is CB2.7. I've got no idea why it's called that. And the cross plate, which is reference CX140. Now I was looking at a few different options. Uh, specifically the Manfrotto mini tripod, but I was convinced to get this because of a really good video, well a couple of videos actually, from a German YouTuber called, if I get his name right, Balas Gal. He runs a YouTube channel called Tech Video and he, he did a couple of comparison videos between this tripod and a few other ones and he did some really fantastic comparisons and showed everything about it so it really convinced me to go with this myself so kudos to him. I picked this up for £25.24 uh, Amazon UK and there was only one review there, it gave it three stars but Again, I was convinced to buy it because I saw um, the videos for it and it really looks like a really good solution. Quickly before unbox, I just want to explain why I'm going to be using this. I've started another YouTube channel for my website, riseforums.com. I'm going to be doing all the kind of internet marketing website development videos on that now. And the idea is I'm going to be recording videos with my smartphone. This can do 4K and 1080p and be recording the videos quickly using my smartphone. This doesn't have image stabilization, so what I've been doing so far is getting this cheap little tripod and getting this cheap little smartphone holder. Now, this, these little parts, they retail for about a pound each. They're really cheap. You'll find them on Amazon and eBay. These cheap parts from China. And, you know, it, it just kind of sets up like this. Not the most professional setup, but I've did two videos so far and it's okay, but it's a little bit limiting with what you can do. What I normally do is I use this with a selfie stick and I use this to hold up my audio recorder. Um, but I've got the audio recorder propped up with other things just now. So that is what I'm going to be using this for, ideally. I'm going to be using this so that I can record videos through my smartphone. Now I did have a little bit of hesitation because of this part. I don't know if this is going to hold my phone because I've got um, the Nexus 6P, it's quite a big phone. But I don't think that is going to be a major problem and if it is, I'll just buy another mobile phone holder because really these are the two the two parts that I really need. I'll just quickly give you a full walk around the box. You can see that there. So it's made from aluminium. You get the crosshead, removable coupling plate. Um, it's suitable for smartphones, mirrorless cameras, DSLRs, HD, full HD movie function. Uh, it's a table tripod, 21 centimeters in length, 315 grams in weight. I'm talking like an idiot again because it's hard to read that through my camera. It says it supports weight up to one kilogram. Um, well, I think that's what it's saying. I think you can see here. It's got 315 grams in weight. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It holds up to one kilogram. You can see there, Coleman is a German company. So, let's see what this has to offer. In the box. You can see in the box here as well, it's got a 10 year warranty, which is really good. But a part of me also wonders how something like this comes with a 10 year warranty. But you are talking to someone who can't even get this out of the box. So, oh, there I know. Okay, there's nothing else in the box there. There's no, doesn't seem to be any instructions. But that's okay because you don't really need instructions for something like this. So, there we have it. And my first impressions are whoa, that's really, really weighty. Um, it's a little bit dirty in the box, which makes me think that this has actually been returned. I can't see any scrapes on it, but yeah, in fact. Yep, I'm not sure if that's going through in the camera. It does look like it's scraped. So there's a good chance that they've sent me something that's been used before. Yep, it does look like that. You know, there's a lot of scrapes in here, which you shouldn't get if it's just been packaged up. Anyway, that's not going to affect the review. So the idea being, I believe, this just pops open. So it's maybe not coming through in the camera, but... It's got the rubber legs, but this is all aluminium and it's really, really solid. It's really, 
really, really solid. And that's how it'll be there. Now you can put the legs up and down like that. I think you can move one leg independent of the others. If you want to, you know, if you're at a windowsill or something or you're at an edge of a table, you can maybe set it like that, put one higher than the others. But ideally you want to have them all at the same length. So we've got this here. Now just going back to the, the other mobile phone holder that I had before. If I had to screw that in here, and get it in. Right, now, the one thing you can see here now, when you use it like that, you can almost use it like a selfie stick. But, you can see here, that doesn't move. In order for that to move, to move it in any direction, you need to use this ball head. But it, it's good to have that option though, I like the idea that you could just hold something, you know, you could hold your your action camera or your smartphone or your DSLR and just hold it in your hand. It feels very, very good. There's a lot of weight in it and it just feels like a real quality product. You are going to get that because, again, before I was using a product that cost £1 and, you know, this is £25. You do expect to get better quality, but I'm very pleased with it. So let's see what happens when you get this on. So, you can see this ball head here, it can go all the way down here, it can go all the way around as well, so you can essentially move it like left and right to that kind of angle all the way there, but when you go around the other side, if you need to face something down the way, you can, you can do that. So it looks quite good. Um, and I saw in the other videos that I saw is this this is basically works as the screw to tighten things up. So when you tighten that up, these legs won't move. But when you open it, you can move things again. So the idea being, you get the legs the way, the way that you want them, get the head the way you want it, and then tighten it up. Once that's tight, oh, perhaps not, that is still moving a little bit. Well, that's a complete lie what I said there, but yeah, the ball head at the top isn't moving, but the bottom, you can still move the legs, so I was obviously wrong about that. So I need to open that up if I want to move the top part. Okay, let's see how this gets on. So... So there's a mobile phone holder, quite a good product and I suspect already that it's not going to be big enough for my phone so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use this but there's, there's, um, there's a few other ones, uh, smartphone holders that I was looking at like for 4 or £5, up to £10 I was looking at so I might have to invest in one of those but I'll give it a try anyway, I dare to believe you hold it in like this doesn't fit, doesn't fit at all. So, I mean, that's that's the risk that I had because um, the, the video that I saw, the guy had a five inch smartphone and he just managed to get it in. You know, this is a, this has got a 5.7 inch screen and it just simply doesn't fit. So, it's a shame because this, I mean, I like this mechanism. It looks really secure but it's not going to work with smaller phones, eh, with larger phones, sorry. You're really going to, you're only going to be able to use this with, you know, the iPhones and phones up to like five inch, um, five inches down there. It's a shame, I can't think of any other way I can get that in. No. So I can't actually use this aspect of it with a smartphone, but if I've got a smaller phone or a smaller device, I could certainly use this. But, I do still have this. Now there's some other little things in here. Little ringers. I'm not sure what these are used for. Alright, oh, th these are assumed to go over the top. The top here. Little washers. Um, there's no instructions for that, but I assume that's what they're for. Okay, let's see if I can get this working. 
with my smartphone using my old holder. Right, so I've now got it like that. Tighten this up. And that is that's pretty fantastic actually, that's really good. That doesn't move whatsoever once you tighten it up. And it's real, I mean, that's solid. If this phone falls though, that's gonna be because of this, it's not gonna be going to be because of the tripod. It, it's hard, I mean, it's hard to show that in the video, but this is absolutely solid. It's, it's a very high quality product. And you know, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems using this. We'll just get this back on again. Tighten this up and get the legs here. And you can kind of see how I'm going to be using this. Now again, as I said, once this is open, I can move it around like this. You know, I could be filming down the way, like so. Or I, you know, I can move it up, move it around, move it pretty much any angle and it will stay there. So that's really, really good. The only downside, as I can see, uh, as I said before, is this. It's it's really designed for phones that are probably about four and a half inches in diameter, uh, four and a half inch screens. It's not really designed for the larger phones that are out in the market just now. Now, the proof is in the pudding. Obviously, I need to use this a little bit um, to see how, what it's like, but I'm very pleased with it. It's really, really secure. And I love how you can just quickly fold it up and just hold it like that and use it like a selfie stick. The other trick in the bag, I think I briefly mentioned it before, was the, um, this here at the top. Now, if you turn this around, you have a hot shoe adapter. And in my opinion, that's pretty awesome that that comes with that. That means that you can use a variety of things on this, you know, you can connect an audio recorder, you can connect flash. Um, I mean, I've got this already for my audio recorder to sit on the top of my camera. And this comes with a built in, you know, it's, it's a great little feature. It means that if I'm not using this to record later on, I can always use it to hold flash or an audio recorder or something else. Really is fantastic. So, Slight disappointment aside from, I mean, it's fine, it's not gonna be an issue, but it, it did look like this was probably sold before in the past, someone's returned it. But I can't really grumble that price, if I'm honest, and at the end of the day, it's just a tripod. It's not like I've bought a screen that's scratched. So there you go, that is, get the full name for you all again. The, i fold this down for you. The Kilman. Magnus Copter Mobile. The mobile part of it pretty much sucks, but to be honest, I wasn't actually interested in this. I was only interested in this part. For some bizarre reason, on Amazon, buying this part and this part together alone cost £27, and it was £2 cheaper to get this with it. So I'm not too bothered this doesn't work. I didn't, you know, I didn't have high hopes for it working anyway because I looked in another video and it did look like it was small. But I am going to have to go out and buy a better smartphone holder because that one I've got, is a, I don't like it, you know. There's, a, there's another few options I can buy. As far as the tripod goes, I'm really, really pleased. I just really love the range of motion that you get with this because you can really move this anywhere. You know, you can move it all around there and I love the way that you can hold it down like that. And the other thing to note is if you've got another tripod, you know, a larger tripod, like I'm filming this on a tripod just now, I can put this ball head on the top of that tripod and I can then position my camera all the way down um, and, and face down the way. Now, you know, I, I do a lot of product reviews, so that's going to be really, really useful for me. But I probably will just keep it on the, the mini tripod most of the time. So, the other option in the market is the Manfrotto mini tripod. And that is worth checking out. It retails for about 13, 14 pounds in the UK, but there are some limitations to it. One being that you can't 
put the ball head down in the same way that this one does and the button to release it and all that is a little bit stiff as well and that's why I opted for this one the Kalman Magnuson Copter and in my opinion it looks like a fantastic fantastic product really solid and a pretty good price for what you get because this is going to last me for years so I hope you all enjoyed the review if, if so please do click like on the video and click subscribe if you want to check out more of my videos and if you've got any questions about any of this if you want me to explain something about it that I haven't covered in the video please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching guys till next time cheers